Hey everyone, Air here, and today I'm going to show you probably the best method I've found for clipping spiral staircases. So this applies to every source game, Team Fortress, Counter-Strike, you know, whatever. This method was not developed by me. This was taken from RF, who initially applied this to Counter-Strike, and it is now in use in the official Dust 2 remake. If you want to see more about the story behind that, you can see this excellent video Three Clicks Philip made. But uh, yeah, let's get started. First things first, you want to make the staircase. This can be accomplished with the arch tool. And next up, uh, you need the clip brush. So I'm going to be using player clip because I think it's a bit more visible for the purposes of this tutorial, but I would recommend block bullets for TF2. First you gotta select the staircase and make sure you don't forget to clip that first step. This is the easiest part by far. So what you do here is you just, you know, select the area, uh, decrease the size of the brush. There you go. And then you make your clip there. So that's the first one done, and it's by far the easiest part. But now is where the fun shit happens. So you want to make a brush similar in size, you know, something like this. And this is what we are going to apply to every stair going forward. So. I'm going to pre-clip this, I'm going to use a larger brush size just to make it more visible here. Uh, make sure you don't cut anything. Uh, we're just going to make a bunch of triangles, kind of like a displacement. Alright, that looks good. And then we're going to group that together to make it easier to work with. And we're going to keep this somewhere else in the map. Now we're going to copy it and paste it here. And now, the brush size, I'm going to decrease a shitload, and now we are going to use the vertex tool to line this up to the stair. So we just take that, and then drag in here, press enter to select everything, and we try to line this up as closely as possible with the stairs. So we want to make sure these lines intersect with each other so they're not visible. Uh, sometimes that won't be possible but I would advise just keeping it as close as you can. And keep in mind that the more clips you have on your stairs, the more difficult this becomes. Alright, once you've got everything lined up to your satisfaction, I think this looks good. Uh, just go back to the selection tool and just sort of give it a manual inspection. See that it looks good. So now we're gonna go to the problem checker. So we're gonna map check for problems or hit alt T and you can see the only problem is that there's no player start and that doesn't really matter so no problem uh, since I opened that it made the grouping really weird it's a hammer bug you can fix it by restarting but now we want to open the vertex tool again and this is where we start uh, making sure everything is actually lined up and clippable so if you want to move it over a couple units and move it back you know, just to make sure. Then go back to the vertex tool. Uh, if you click here, it'll show you in your other views where it is. So then we're going to highlight this area, press enter, and drag it down, and then yes to merge vertices. So that's going to create a ramp. And if done correctly, it won't show up as a problem in the problem checker. So it is valid. Uh, we're going to continue this for all the rest of uh, the front facing vert vertices and go back and look at that it's a ramp problem checker no problems so in game this should be smooth as hell and it's gonna feel like going up a regular staircase instead of you know, the bumpy shit everyone's used to. Now, for the second stair, you want to take uh, your clip here and copy it again, but you're going to want to alternate on every other step. So now uh, you're going to click in here and rotate it. It's best if you lock the 2D views to 15 degree rotations, which you can do in the settings. And now, uh, again, we have to line this up with the vertex tool. And it should be fairly simple, because you can line it up with the pre-existing vertices from your last clip. 
Uh, but then when you get to the next part, it might be a little more tricky. Though it should be fine. Right there. Now we gotta find some more areas where it lines up perfect. Excellent. That was pretty easy. That's pretty rare. Uh, this does get uh, easier usually as you go about it. Alright, so now I've got this one lined up too. Uh, and now we go to the vertex tool again. And we bring it down. Merge vertices, yes. Very good. And there we go. Oh no, I missed one, sorry. <laughs> Now, if in the event that something doesn't line up, uh, it will show up as a problem in the problem checker, uh, although I undid it, so it's not there. Uh, so if that does happen, just try moving the brush around a little bit, uh, up and down. That will usually solve the problem, uh, and if not, reselect it and bring it back. It, that'll usually do it, but if not, there you go. Yeah, see, that fixed it. Alt-P. See, there's no problem. And we have successfully clipped two of the stairs. So I have done this staircase already, so I'm just gonna skip to the completed one. It might take a while, especially if this is your first time clipping a spiral staircase. I've experimented with this for several, several, several days of my life. Primarily, I made this tutorial because the three clicks fill up video didn't really show exactly how to do it. And this might not be the best method, but with my experimentation, this is what I found works really well. Uh, of course, it'll be smoother the more uh, triangles you have per stair, but I feel like this is an okay number. So yeah, uh, I'm just gonna skip to the completed staircase. When you're finished, this is approximately what it's gonna look like. And if you go to the problem checker, you can see there are no problems. So real quick, I'm just gonna make a skybox. And uh, then we're going to test it in game and I'm going to show you how it is. All right, actually, uh, before I do that, I decided to copy the staircase and move it over without the clipping so we can get a good example of what that will look like compared to uh, the clipping job we just did. So let's add a player spawn and then I'm going to compile and see you on the other side. All right, as you can see, I am now in game uh, testing with TF2. Sorry, the map's lighting sucks. Uh, I didn't add any of that. But uh, you can see here, this is our clipped staircase and this is the unclipped staircase. So first I'm gonna go up the unclipped stairs and you can see how unpleasant it is. It's all jittery. Uh, that's just extremely unfun. Similar to Junction, if you've played that map in TF2, a lot of the stairs aren't clipped. Now here's the clipping job we just did. Check that shit out. It's so fucking smooth. Now, if we enable cheats and do draw clip brushes too, we can see the player clip brushes that we just made. So now you can see this is more of a ramp than a staircase, and that is precisely how it should be. Now, there are a couple holes where my uh, vertices didn't quite line up perfect, but I probably could have done a better job. Uh, whatever. It's still pretty good. Uh, I think this probably is the best method for clipping spiral stairs. Uh, and it, like I said earlier, it should work in pretty much any source game. Uh, yeah, so I hope you enjoyed. I hope this was helpful uh, to anyone who perhaps watched uh, Philip's video and wanted to know exactly how RF's clipping method worked. Uh, if this helped you out, feel free to share it or uh, you know, keep it for future reference. Uh, yeah, thanks.